Shoo! What's going on, folks? Welcome back to another video. We've got some chores to do, so we're bringing you guys along with us on the Beefcake channel. As you guys know, that's where we do all things Beefcake construction, which includes getting the animals and the entire pasture, all the farm equipment stuff, ready for winter. So, nothing's ready, and we've got a hard freeze coming in just two days. So we got to get everything prepared for that. But before we jump into it, guys, a huge shout out to Bespoke Post for sponsoring today's video. Bespoke Post is a monthly membership club delivering awesome boxes of top shelf goods from under the radar brands. And it's free to join. Each box has around $70 in value, but you only pay a fraction of the price. And 90% of the products from Bespoke Post boxes come from small businesses, many of which are based right here in the US. You only pay for what you want. You'll get a box assigned to you each month based on the quiz that you take when you sign up. And before it ships, you'll get a preview of what's gonna come inside to decide if you like it, if you wanna keep it, if you wanna swap it, or you wanna skip the month entirely for absolutely no charge. So if you guys wanna try out Bespoke Post for yourself, you can actually get 20% off by using promo code BEEFCAKE20 or go to bespokepost.com slash BEEFCAKE20. But these guys right here, I've got two of them that we're gonna to unbox today and there's gonna be some goods in here that we're actually gonna to use to help us out on the farm. So let's get to unboxing. Boom, right here, this is the Explorer kit. Okay, folks. There you go, Explorer, right there. So inside this one in particular, we've got a headlamp, which is great for uh, lots of things, camping, fishing, hunting. And uh, uh, today it's it's daylight, so we're not gonna have to use that right now. But then they also have a Nomad packable backpack. And we've got a water bottle right there. That's BPA free, reusable, recyclable. And last but not least, we've got a toasted coconut vanilla bean bar. Some nice snacky snack, you know me and snack. So that's the Explorer box. Now over here, this is the grounds kit box, which this one has the essential backwood stuff in it, which includes this bad boy, which is what we're gonna be using today. This is what I was most excited for. Wa-bam! A knife. We always use a knife on the farm, or camping, or hunting, or farming. It's got a nice little belt loop, so I'm gonna go ahead and strap up with that. We've also got the camp carabiner right here. They've got the VC, which is actually an inflatable seat. Nothing's worse than sitting on the ground and having a sore rump. So they've got this bad boy for you. And then something I've never even heard of. See, this is what's great about Bespoke Post. You know me, I'm well into the outdoor space and the industry and everything. This is reusable zip ties. Where has this been my entire life? I've been cutting them, I messed that one up, put another one. Reusable zip ties. Tell me something that's more valuable than a reusable zip tie. So out in the woods, I use zip ties all the time to attach stuff, whether it's out farming, fishing, hunting. The fact that they're reusable, is crazy. Take them with you if you don't need them anymore. So anyways, there you have it, folks. Remember, save 20% using Beefcake20 or go to bespokepost.com slash Beefcake20. Huge shout out to Bespoke Post for sponsoring today's video. It's brands like them that I partner up with that allow me to ride over a single day, which makes it for you guys. So that being said, let's go take care of the animals. Shoo! All right, we are out here. Look at that. Look how easy this is. Wa-bam! Strapped. Ready to go. In case Ralph acts up. No, I'm just kidding. But this is good for cutting open uh, the, the bale string we're always doing and the feed bins where you gotta feed these bins right here. They're getting a little low, so we're gonna have to grab some bags of feed. We'll use this bad boy to cut them open, which is nice. I mean, a pocket knife are cool, but like this is, I like the fixed blade. Then you're not sitting here, with, especially with gloves, trying to flick it open. It's just, it's just ready to rock and roll. So um, we're gonna start off getting these guys fed. They got their nice grain, Jake's getting them some grain right now, so they actually calm down. But like I said, today's objective is to get this place basically winterized, ready for the old cold snap that we're about to have. Everything's gonna freeze, and we gotta make sure nobody dies. What's going on? Yeah, hey, how's it going? Help yourself. No, go ahead, just help yourself. All right, so over here, the number one priority is gonna be the water. So we've got water there and water there. It's on automatic hookups to the hose. Those will freeze and blow the lines, and it just won't be good for anybody. So what we need to do is we gotta bring back the OG water strat which if you guys have been a viewer for um, you know more than a year or so, we've got a hydrant down back there and we've got some pretty big tubs and that's what we've put the water in. And unfortunately, you have to kind of manually go over there and do it. This is not the end of the world, uh, but that's the only way to really get the heaters in there. Like you could just put heaters in there, but that's not very much water. Like the reason why that works is because it's automatic. Now that one right there in particular is actually a heated uh, container. I don't know if the heat mechanism still works. It is kind of, it's three years old. Um, so we'll try it, but that green one does have an outlet plug somewhere and we might try and plug it in because that could potentially work for the chickens or it could work for the quail. Um, man, that's freaking, this thing's already freaking getting me all sweaty, all nice and warm and whatnot. That's what I like about this hat. You can freaking do anything. Uh, and these guys, well, I don't think we have to, their coop should not get below freezing. 
if the coupe gets below freezing, that's not good for anybody. So what we need to do is we need to add another heat lamp in there. I am looking for one of those like mother hen heater things. Um, it's going to take a minute to get them, but he basically get the, we've got to make sure that as long as the coupe stays above freezing, we just put their water in the coupe and there's already a water in the coupe. So we really don't have to do much. Although they do have like the 55 gallon drum barrel water, which is what they usually drink out of. And that will freeze. That's not their only source of water. Like that guy right there, that there's water inside of there. So I think we just need to basically ensure, Hey, since this is a big coupe before, I mean, before they were all living in that thing, their body heat radiates this, their body heat does not really keep them warm in here. We, they need artificial heat um, to, to stay warm in this. So we got to get some heaters, some heat lamps kind of put up and set up in here that stay on, you know, all day long, make sure these guys have food and make sure these guys have water. The like, big animals, like I said, we're going to carry the big tubs in there and set up a waterfall system that can hold a bunch of water, tons and tons of water where they should be good for three, four days at a time. And then these guys, we're not positive yet what we want to do at some point we got to catch clean cook some of these guys i don't plan to have these guys all winter they don't have like great great shelter um or anything like that they'll be fine in the cold but as far as their water and stuff goes we're just gonna have to get some of the little blue dishes or some type of containers with a heater in it and then we'll just have to come over here with this hose and then fill it up it's one of those things like it gets really cold at night but everything's gonna thaw out again during the day. So like hoses are gonna be okay. You just don't wanna leave them up to the hydrant cause then stuff could explode. So I wanna give you guys a rundown of everything that's happening cause I'm just gonna slap the old camera on and we're gonna get to getting going and doing what we need to be doing, which is getting these guys ready for winter. So you guys stay tuned. All right, first thing we should probably actually just take the mule and get the tubs, tubs out of there. See what we have for heaters. Had something in that trap. Really? Yeah, that was not like that yesterday. The golf ball's knocked over, trap's knocked over. Trap's not set off though. Huh. Let's see. Okay, there's a tub out there. Yeah. Oh, I forgot we have those metal tubs too. Yeah. Well, we have quite a, quite a few. Um, heaters wise, what do we got in here? I'll throw a bag of sweet feed in the mule. Top everything off. <clears throat> Yeah, if it works, you know, it's one of those things. I mean, they will work, just it's old. What's that say? Does it say it works? Yeah, three year warranty. Oh, really? Okay. So there's one. What's that? That's a floating one. I've never really loved those, but that's the PVC to connect the waterfall. So I think we need that. We can just bring all of it. Just throw it. Like actual heaters. There's no ring heaters. Not like the the, the like they look like a washer. Yeah, I've seen those. I know really? A couple. Oh, that's not great. This one might work though. I could work in one of the quail pens or. Is that one of those big dogs? Yeah, I know I bought some. Now I've got. I know some have broken though. You know, just like everything else. Um. So we'll try to get that lower for the chickens. Um. What else? A few dishes. A few. Okay, and then we'll get the big jugs. Get a bag of food. We'll try all these. <clears throat> See which one works. Does that one have the hole in it? Yep. So we'll take him. And then the small one, for some reason, I don't know, I think we left it there, but for some reason I kind of thought maybe we did. I can check around. Oh, uh, it's right here. Oh yeah, in case you guys were wondering, uh, Raccoons took out the old geese. It's getting to that time of year, folks. Stuff's starting to get tricky. We got traps out everywhere, but you only do so much. Well, we had those things for freaking like eight months. One night, raccoons got in. All right. That's full load. Though. Think that'll get us somewhere? We'll see. See if Ralph wants to attack us or not. Probably. Yeah, we'll go. 
go knock out the big animals first. We'll probably just rip the side by side in it if we grab the gate. Yep. We got everything kind of in there that we need. See how easy this is? Wah bam! Open her right up. Get out, no, get out, Rick. What are you doing? Come on, boys. Yeah. Forgot we got Heather Barnes at some point, too. the big animal water set make sure this thing still works he works and then this guy is just a second catcher <clears throat> just for extra water Worried it's gonna catch into there, but I'm afraid it's gonna. Well, I guess I can pull this out a little. You know, I just don't want it resting on that. You take that last block out there, and I'll just hold it up and stick that last. Stick it right under here. it's leaning that way now but I think the thing is it sucks out pretty low I mean otherwise we can I can stick something out the back too that way it's just level try me try a slide one of these that's better then it won't go nowhere. All right, this guy's done, so we just need to get some power. There's no cables right now, right? Okay, let's get that. I'm thinking. This one I bet will work. Yeah, heater's in. The other one's got a heater, so he said this thing fills up. I mean, I don't know how big this is. Pretty, pretty, pretty big. Holds quite a bit. And then it flows into that one. The reason why we did that is just so it has more water. There's even more volume uh, than just the one. That way, if I can't get down here for a day or two, I'm not sweating it. But the camel harassing you. Hey. Hi, Bubba. How are you? All right. Um. What are you doing? Big boy. Come here, Bubba. You leave him alone. Who's a big boy? Who's a big boy? You being nice? Can I freaking help you? Your breast smells like ass. I'll feed you like that. Probably good. 
tying these up. That way, the animals trip on them. They don't yank, won't yank the plug. Oh yeah, we're gonna need a. <clears throat> I think there's some in this mule. They're those yellow, ye those yellow splitters, the one to threes. I think we'll we'll need one for one of these. This thing's got power though. There, there. Hey, that's where we got that nice mule. So, yeah, it's supposed to say put a beeper on this. Yeah, so if it goes off, it's just screaming. Then we know. Good Don't get squirrely. Checking out the water. Oh, hey, oh, hey, yeah. hey. Say it? don't spray it. Hey. He likes it straight out of the tit. I guess. He wants that fresh. You hear him giving it suck He's right giving now? it hell right now. Alright. So I don't know if this thing even. I don't hang on. Let me move this down. This thing doesn't need to be up here. You're walk through it. What's he doing? Goat's doing on the Here. Get it. Yeah, I'm just gonna give her a couple quick knots here. <laughs> Perfect. I'm not as worried about this one, so. Hey, you see this camel? Oh, buddy, get get it off his head. What are you doing? <laughs> I said, be careful. He can't. He can't see. I know. <laughs> are you serious right now? No need for that. Right, here's some good wire. I'll use that. He's such a dummy. There. That looks like Ralph. That looks Ralph proof to me. Yeah, <laughs> we'll see. Dude, that heater's working for sure. Steaming? She's steaming. Yeah, that should keep them hopefully out of there. Hey, hey, that's a light. No, that's the chicken light. You gonna break it? Rick. That's why we can't have nice things, dude. Hey. Hey, Bubba. So we can't have nice things. Is that goat in the driver's seat? Get out of the car, no. Get out. I'm gonna, I got this knife on me. Easy. Be nice. Who's a big boy? Hey. Hey, put that foot down. You put that foot down. I wanted to take care of these freaking these doohickeys, but he's about to freaking he's, he's about to fight. Good. He's pissed. So I don't know. I mean, we could just disconnect them for now. Yeah. Let them drink them dry, because yeah. those were trying to dump them out we'll anyway. Disconnect them at the splitter thing. And just stuff. Uh, let let them drink them dry, and then we'll yank them out of there. We don't need any of that stuff, so it's fine. What would you say this one? I think it's yeah. Yep. All right, big animals are done. I went too bad. Ralph only tried to kill us twice. So I was, I was a dub in my book. Um, <clears throat> let's get a light. Let's collect some eggs. Let's get some heat lamps going in the in there. Um, do we have a do we have a shorty extension? We probably don't really need a a mondo, but whatever's. Who's that? That red one's probably not that long. That's probably 25, maybe 50 footer. Oh, there it is. That's beautiful. That's what we need. Beautiful. That's what we're after. Um, <clears throat> Splitter again. Off that extension cord we have. In the, or no, we there should, should be, be so, yeah, there should be some open ports. Okay. 
that target off. Hey, chickens, how you doing? You guys gonna eat my raccoons or no? Wakey, wakey. Hey, how you doing? She sleeping? Oh, we got a lot of eggs, nice. Yeah, so, so, so what I'm saying is if it stays, we should close this window before we yeah, leave. We can go and close that. So this is a heat lamp, but we have it on a timer. It's more of just a light instead of a heat lamp. So this is the actual heat lamp. My theory, and we could always pull one one of those staples to drop that thing down a little. Yeah. You know, so that thing's actually providing some heat. Mm -hmm. The thing is, we only have that thing going during the day. Well, actually, I moved it. So it's a lot, but you know, you don't want that thing just bright all the time. They need to be able yeah. to sleep, which is why the red light, they're supposed to be able to sleep better with the red light. Probably just clip it right into this. We don't have to actually do anything. As long as it don't start a fire. That, and then you grab that extension cord. Oh, hang on, don't oh, worry, don't worry. Space. I got her. There you go. So this exhaust fan is what's right here. We have it on a timer to only run during the day. I don't really want to run it 24 hours a day. There's no reason, especially since it's just going to suck the hot air out. Here's that. Are we good or do we need to put a splitter there to bypass the... That'll at least keep this half warm. <laughs> Do you need a splitter still or no? Hey, give me some of your eggs. Move it or lose it. You got one, two, three, four, five. Sheesh, they're starting. Six, seven, eight, nine, and there's two actively laying. Oh, is she gonna get up? Or did that just fall out? Oh, there's a bunch more. So you have three, six, nine. Here, watch out, honey. Oh, hang on. 10, 11, good lord. They're going hard. 10, 11, watch out, 12, 13, 14, and that's all I see in there. You wanna move for me? Oh yeah, she's sitting on them. 15, 16, 17, 17. Whoa. That's two days. So, so what's the thing in here? I ran the master power into this splitter instead. Yep. Which means that light will always be on. Which is good. But then I plugged this into the splitter for okay. the master power. And then we only have one out from the timer. So I plugged this light into it. Would you rather replace this bulb to a red one and leave it on all the time like that one? Even potentially, yeah. And then just have the exhaust, exhast on, on, on a timer. Yeah, we might. Or we can put a splitter out of here too. And yeah. Both back in. Yeah. Which you're gonna need one more. For. Yeah, I need some. Do we have any red bulbs? Uh, yeah, I think we have a couple more. We could just replace it. And just change it out. I'd replace it and pull that one staple. So then it's sitting it's here. Like then you could just here. leave that water. I bet that'd keep that water. Just from... right yeah. Okay. Let's do well, that. I'll go grab a bulb then. Okay. All right. Well, hey, we got eggs, so that's good. Nice. Thanks, ladies. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. We got some nice eggs. Whole bunch of them. Uh, All right. Well, while Jake's doing that, I got to <clears throat> see. I got to figure out how to get these quail and pheasants chilling. Um, this bowl would probably work for the quail if it actually heats the way it's supposed to. I can just fill this up every morning, and I bet this would last them quite a while, honestly. So, <clears throat> well, the question is. I gotta run power. Oh, we don't need power. We've got power ran to the goose pen. Well, now that those guys are out of the picture, we don't need that. So, I think if I... See, our barrel thing works great, but 
this exposed PVC just freezes. There's not really anything we can do there. So uh, we got to get something that doesn't freeze. And like I said, these guys, they'll be all right. I mean, they've got the little hut here and stuff like that that they can burrow into, but they're not going to make it through winter. And we also, I mean, we raise them to catch clean, cook them. They're meat, meat quail. So we'll end up taking care of those guys here. So let me go steal some power. See if I can, oh, where's this power go to? Oh wait, that goes to there. Oh, uh, we hardwired that, rip. See if I could just put a splitter on that, but we ran the power inside, rip. No? So we need to steal power for the quails. We can't really tap into this because we put the wire through the barn. So I was gonna steal the power from the goose. I don't know if that'll reach to the quail. Well, yeah, we but, another big, but we'll just add another extension cord. cord. So that, cause that one's already should already be plugged in, I think. The thing is that power hasn't really been working. Like that fence, I don't think that fence thing was working that great. So I gotta make sure that this cord, this yellow one right here still works. Which one is it, the yellow? This yellow here. Well, I mean, it should have a, <clears throat> yeah, this thing, this will have a glow plug, I'll show you. No, there's no power. That's it. Is that plugged in? It's it, it's on now. Okay. Nice. So we don't need this red one. We could take. We don't need this green one necessarily. We could might as well pick it all up. Yeah, there's a split. This this green one has a three-way on it too. Yeah. Let's use this. I'll probably just use this red one. I'll use this red one to get us there, and then I'll use the green one. <clears throat> oh, this one has a splitter too. I'll use this green one, so then we can split off and do one pheasant, one uh, quail. Yeah, quail. Yeah. So red. We'll put red in here like this. We can use with that fancy little. Oh, it's right here. This will do, Hickey. Instead of tying a few Palomars, they got they make one of these things. So grab the end of that red one. We'll take that down here. Like I said, in this green one's got a three-way, <clears throat> which then we could split off and run it to the quail, and we should be in business then. Oh yeah, that'll reach. Beautiful. All right, cool. That'll work. Brick, stop. So, I mean, we can just open the door, hose it in. So we'll take this bad boy. That's pretty much farming in the winter. Just extension cords, extension cords and rad straps. They save our lives. Okay. Hopefully that bolt works. We'll have to find that out too. Actually, I'll just run it back here. All right, and grab that hose. Hey, watch out, Junior. There it is. Hopefully they figure it out. All right, you're good. That or take that block and block it. Yeah, I wanted to. Is that block? I don't think it's doing much for those no, guys. That doing zero. Hey, hey Bubba, it. watch out. Hey, get out of here. Let's see, plug this in. That should help. As long as it's kind of right in front of their water, I think they'd be able to put two and two together. Go 
grab, go grab the hose. No leak. No? I'm seeing it leaking. Who do you think, Rick? <laughs> These things look so cool. They look sweet. Oh, sack. There that goes. All right. Done. 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 We could not find could not find a light. So do we still need another splitter? Or what do you think? Uh, if we want to just set it up back or, up the way it was, we need one more splitter, yeah? All so way. let's just lower this light and keep it on a timer. So I need something to pull that staple out. There it goes. There's See you later. So I mean, we can leave it like that, or go. I'd probably go lower if we're gonna make it actually do something. There you go. There. I mean, yeah, that's over their water. I mean, we can move their water a little bit too. Just get a little hot, hot spot. Yeah, I'll, make, <clears throat> I'll pick up their water and move that block just a little bit. Put it like I'd put it like back here, back here. a little ways. Well, just so they can, if they want to sleep under the light True. or whatever, then they can. So the other thing we'll we'll we can keep that light on the timer, but I would just have it off like you could always do like midnight to mm -hmm. six a.m. Yeah. Just so, just so it still keeps providing some heat for them. Yeah. Right now, I do have it set for nine. I could probably give it a little more. Goes off at eleven. Comes on at five. Yeah, that'll be all right. That one doesn't really produce that much heat. I think it's that one that's supposed to be more. So it should hopefully warm this area up. Yeah. It's warm, so. Yeah. So they can all cuddle back here, hopefully. And that's that's the other reason to not have that vent on. I mean, it's just gonna suck hot air we'll out. So. Down probably a little bit more. Feed it through there. Do you want it lower? I was trying to get it so if they're up here, they're at least feeling some of it yeah. as they're roosting. I think that'll be alright. And then I think we just need to get like a little mother hen thing yeah, right in the middle. Just trying to make sure they're nice and cozy. Shoo! There you have it, folks. That is what it looks like. Get this sucker ready for winter. If you were missing anything, let us know. But we got Rick. You got nice water over there, buddy. I promise. That water will stay nice and not frozen for you. Chickens are good. We decided to not run their exhaust fan for a few days and just see what it looks like. Um, you know, a lot of it was to get air circulation in there. We also closed the window. But we have to keep it warm in there. But you don't want moisture in there. So it's kind of a balance of... You know, you don't want the heat to get sucked out of there, um, but you also don't want it, you need like a humidifier or some dehumidifier, th th then it can, but I mean, at that point, I should just be sleeping in a sucker. So I don't know if we need dehumidifier, I actually need one or not, but that you just don't want that moisture in there. So we, we kind of, we're gonna see what, it, what see what happens. We're gonna cut out, we shut the window, that way there's not a cold breeze coming in, and then we killed the exhaust fan. We'll let that thing get nice and warm for a little bit. We'll come in, we'll check it out over the next few days. But their water should stay totally thawed out because they're you know i don't think it's gonna get below 32 in there uh plus the heat lamp we moved it a little bit lower and put it near the water and then these guys have a doggy bowl that's what heated those guys have a chicken drinker that's heated and then you guys saw we hooked up the old the old water flow waterfall uh situation there so we got her all done up i think the only thing we need to do which it's not a huge deal because it's not like it's going to get super cold where everything's going to be snowy and whatnot but we are going to have to give these guys some some bedding in their actual barns themselves here pretty soon. Like I said, it's not, it's still early, super early in the season. I mean, it's still getting to 70 in the middle of the day. They're gonna be fine. But um, that's probably the only other thing that I could think of that these guys are missing is just some nice good old bedding. What, Rick, Carol. 
Quit fighting. No. So let us know what we missed. What else would, would you have done it differently? We missed something. Is there something that we could have done that would have made it a little bit easier than what we did? But I mean, this is the kind of the system that we've had over the last year or two, and we really haven't had too many problems with it. Nothing has died because the water was frozen. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's episode of the BK Construction Channel. It wasn't really a whole lot of constructing, just getting some farm chores done. Dead. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We'll catch you guys in peace.